Hi, welcome to another edition of Recipes Over the Road. And I'm Chef Linda. Today we're going to be making a meatball soup. And so me personally, I think the crock pot is the best invention ever, especially for truck drivers, and this is why. In the morning you get to wake up, you're already prepping for the day of what it is that you need to do. You can take your crock pot, you can grab one of these little bags, which is a crock pot bag. You put it into here as your liner. You throw all your ingredients into the uh, crock pot. You turn it on low or high, depending on when you're ready to eat, and then you drive. And while you're driving, your food's cooking. So when you stop, it's time to eat. Bone apple, ap how do you say it? Bone apple tea? Apple, how do you say that? For meatball soup, it's super, super easy. You're just gonna grab some cheaters, is what I call them, and it's just meatballs. Frozen meatballs from the store. I don't care if you wanna do Italian meatballs, if you wanna do turkey meatballs, whatever kind of meatballs you want. You just throw those meatballs in there. You take some shredded carrots. You can shred them yourself if you want, but me personally, it's just much easier to grab the bag. Shredded carrots, you just toss them right on in like that. Done. You're gonna need some diced uh, onions. If you don't like onions, don't put onions in there. You just take those diced onions, just throw them in there. Literally, just toss them in. All we're doing is gathering trash here. I'm the trash man. You can throw some celery in there, along with some zucchini if you want. I've already chopped these up. You can chop them up prior. You can prep this before you get into the truck. You can throw any kind of vegetables it is that you would love to have in it. I would also take a can of diced tomatoes, open that up, toss those right in. God, I love these cans because then you don't even need a can opener, which is really nice. It's like it was made for us, right? Some chicken broth. This is where the magic happens. I always shake that up. Toss that in. And you can toss a bay leaf in there if you happen to have one. I mean, it looks crazy, right? It just looks like it's a leaf from the tree, but you just toss it right on in there. Some tomato paste, just take it and just smush it around in there. And then seasoning is up to you. Me personally, I love to add garlic because I love the taste of garlic. If you don't love the garlic, don't put garlic in it. But I love the taste of garlic. And I'm gonna add some Italian. And you can you can either measure if you're a measuring person. I'm not, but I'll tell you what the measurement is um, in the recipe. But I just literally just, just pour it in there. I mean, there's a little bit of oregano in there, a little bit of Italian seasoning in there, some salt and pepper. If you can't have salt or don't want salt, what do they say it? Do it to taste. And a little bit of uh, vinegar. If this is balsamic, just a little bit, just a couple of dabs. Close the lid, plug it in, set it. Depends if you want to eat in four hours. Um, if you're gonna do this for lunch, then I would set it for four hours on, on high. And if you're going to eat this for dinner, then I would do eight hours on low. Here's what it looks like. Look what it look at all the seasonings around in it, right? And all the meatballs. Um, and like I said, you can do any kind of meatballs in there, but it's it's super good. There, look look how I mean, you just cut those meatballs with the with the spoon. It's really really good. Um, everybody here is like, mmm, that smells really good. Mmm, and I agree. It's delicious. 